DeMarcus, throughout your career, did you ever imagine being a Laker? Um, it's a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Thought might have crossed your mind. <laughs> yeah, it crossed my mind. Um, you know, it was obviously an opportunity a few years back when I, when I was in Sacramento. But, um, you know, I feel like everything happens for a reason. This is the perfect timing for it to happen. So uh, I'm excited about this season, and I'm um, looking forward to it. I'm sure there are a lot of things that came into play. You just brought up a good point about the perfect timing. What ultimately was, was the main reason that you came to L.A.? Um, a, Rondo and, you know, uh, LeBron all kind of threw a pitch in there to, to get me here. And um, I really talked a lot with Rondo and A. And um, they basically kidnapped me and made me come here. But but not. <laughs> but uh, you know those are two really good friends of mine, and um, you know obviously we've had a chance to play and be teammates previously before this, and um, you know we enjoyed our time together as teammates. So uh, we've always talked about teaming back up, and you know the opportunity presented itself. Yeah, when you two were together in New Orleans, you were all stars. Why do you guys complement each other so well? Um. I don't really know what it is. Uh, we just know how to we just know how to play beside each other. Um, we're both unselfish players. Uh, we both go out and try to win the game at all costs. Um, it's always about making the right play between me and him, and um, we're genuinely happy for one another. So uh, with all that in the play, I guess you get the results that you get. What kind of player are the Lakers getting, and the Laker fans, and Marcus Cousins? Um, I'm leaving on the floor every night, um, bringing a toughness to the team, um, some attitude, some grit, obviously. <laughs> but uh, just a guy that, that wants to do whatever it takes to help the team win. What about AD? Sky's the limit for that young man? Sky's the limit, uh, a special, special talent. And um, I think you'll enjoy the show for sure. <laughs> when you envision yourself playing alongside a guy like LeBron James, and I'm sure that, that weighed into your decision, that, that, as you mentioned, what's that look like to you? Um, just, I mean, learning from a, a Hall of Fame, one of, the, one of the greatest to ever, you know, lace up sneakers. So um, take, a, take, a, take in as much information as possible, uh, learn from him. Uh, Follow his lead. He's been here plenty of times and, um, you know, just enjoy the ride at the same time. You're a superstar in this league and you played with other superstars up in Golden State. I'm sure that helps you coming into a new situation because there are challenges when you have multiple superstars on the team. Um, it is, and it's, it's more about everything else that comes with it outside of basketball. And um, that helped me a lot experiencing it in Golden State. So uh, to come here with things to be magnified, a hundred times more than it was there. Um, it just helps. So um, with that being said, I kind of know what to expect. I can kind of prepare myself for it and, uh, you know, just maneuver through that. Talking to people in Golden State, they said when you came back after that Achilles injury, you were really starting to move well. And then the quad injury set you back, but you were able to get back to the finals and play at that great game. Where are you right now, health-wise? I'm 100% here with my quad. And um, I'm just working my tail off every day to get in the best shape possible for the start of the season. So um, just off season grind right now. So much adversity for you the last couple of years and, and you've gotten through it. How, how has that changed you? Has, has it made you better? I mean, it has, and um, it's made me stronger as a person, a player. Um, I can say I've made it through a lot of hard times and, and I'm not scared of the next moment, whatever that may be. Uh, hopefully it doesn't happen, but if it does, I'm not afraid of it and I know I can overcome it. You know, looking at your numbers, it's like six years in a row you've averaged 25 or more All-Stars, uh, international play with Team USA. You went to the finals list this last year. Do you feel like you still have something to prove? I feel like I got something to prove every day. And um, I won't stop working and I won't stop pushing until I prove it. How excited are you to get this thing cracking here in September and October? Very excited. Very excited. I can't wait. All right, you head back to Vegas tonight? Yes, sir. Now, now I have to know this for, for the media and for all my friends. Says you're, you're DeMarcus, right? We're not, are we, I read a quote that you want to maybe stop being called Boogie. Are you okay either way? Call me whatever you want. Whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. Fans want to call you Boogie probably. That's cool. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Thank you. All right.